Adebayo Shitu, a former minister for communication, said that when Buhari gives you an appointment or gives you an assignment, he does not bother to check you. So you can run riots. So a situation where you have a CBN governor who can run riot and you have a president who is so inept that approval can be signed by him and he does not even know what he's signing or monitor during the implementation of such approval. And then you have the Tunde Sabiu, you have the Mamad Daura, you have the Issa Funtuas. All of these are the Kabas in the Den Asu Rock who are close to the president, who run the shots. And then you have an Mefele who feels that these people are doing him a favor. He takes and gives to them, and then he takes for himself also. Um, recently, Honorable Kazari, a member representing Kazari federal constituency at the Federal House of Representatives, did say that it was the issue of stamp duties. And he said that stamp duties collected by the CBN were domiciled in a private account. And eventually, that money was turned around and loaned and borrowed to government as loan from foreign you know, agency. And that money was supposed to be the federal government fund. But they made round trips the money and then borrowed it to government. And while the Mifele was under investigation by the DSS then, he ran to Mr. President. The man, jokingly, even said something, Shell. He said, if a Mefele gives you approval, dollar approval from the CBN, he said, if a Mefele gives you dollar approval from the CBN, the kind of alert you get is, did it him, did him. The man jokingly said this thing. Mm. And the people thought he was joking. And that is how, how open the vote, the Nigerian vote in CBN is that the central bank, when you have a president who hardly read memo, who gives you approval without even knowing the kind of approval he's given. And according, I want to quote Kazari also. He said that once you take a document to uh, the then president Buhari, he will ask you, between you and your God, is this true? Once you say, I swear by Allah, the man will sign it for you. And he will not bother asking you again. So when you have that kind of head, head, all of these attempts are trying to shade President Buhari, say he didn't grant approval for all of this withdrawal for me. is also neither here nor there. If because you were, Li Libero, sorry, sorry. Yeah. If you were President Buhari, even before they take mm. this matter to court, because this, if the federal government, uh, and this is what everybody needs to know, if you're not very familiar with the, um, with the process here, is that the federal government under Bola Tinubu and uh, on assuming office, as soon as he removed Godwin Emefeli from office, wanted to know what was going on. And uh, he, he, he asked uh, an investigator uh, in the person of Mr. Obaze to look into the books. In fact, there were also uh, reports by some auditors that came out which showed that the CBN had borrowed money from two banks, uh, am I right, Mr. Mr. Paul Alaje? Yes. From two banks, yes. uh, foreign banks that CBN had borrowed. Those are initial situation. But this one was the fact that this private inves investigator was supposed to unravel what really went on in the last eight years in the CBN. Afterwards, this report will be officially submitted to the person who appointed the investigator and the person will decide what he or she wants to do with that report that is what we're supposed to be saying if you Joe, were my question is this uh, liberals if you were president buhari former president buhari even before anything comes out from the president what would you do to this report if you are hearing it first and foremost show i want to tell you that this is not the first time Obaze is investigating the cbn this is not the first time all of the investigation that the Obaze conducted into the CBN where Buhari just came on board, what happened to it? What, what became of that report? Ask Obaze himself. At some point, there were even allegations that his life were, was threatened. Now again, he has conducted another investigation. If I were President Tinubu, it is not just a Mefele. A Mefele didn't act alone. The uh, Central Bank Deputy Governor didn't act alone. That's what I'm telling you. A lot of people need to also be dragged into the uh, 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 net. 
President Muhammad Buhari, first and foremost, was the box stopped at his table. Uh, uh, I've called, mentioned today Sabu's name more than three times on this program now. He also, his name, he said, they said he approved the Naira redesign policy on that report. But then the question you will ask yourself, the Naira redesign policy, apart from, for you to redesign the federal, the currency, apart from approval from the board, apart from the nod by the president, a federal executive council ought to be convened to debate the matter and also give further approval. All of this were not done by the president. And the Supreme Court reiterated that position. We started debating the propriety or otherwise of these things. All of these issues, you have a president who once he gives you an assignment, he goes to sleep and he assumes that all have been done. So why these monies were being stolen and borrowed to, to us as a country? Why we are busy borrowing from China? borrowing from everywhere, most of, and even the return loot from Abacha, and people were saying traders' money and the rest, these funds were being stolen clearly under a President Buhari. There's need for President Buhari also to answer to some of these allegations. All of the names that have been mentioned, all of the cabals that were in Aso Rock, yeah, a Mifele wouldn't have just sat down and be dishing out funds for himself without some people's connivance. So this report alone is on a mefile. If I were President Buhari, uh, President Tinubu, the issue would now be, how, who are those people that worked with a mefile, including the bank MDs?